Michigan on Thursday and Saturday. The number five seed and the third Big 12 team, the Oklahoma Sooners out of the Big 12. They finished second in the Big 12 this season, 23 and nine overall. And the Sooners all the way up to a five seed. Potent offensive team is Lon Kruger's bunch. Who will they meet? Out of the Summit League, the number 12 seed, the Bison of North Dakota State. The Bison won both the Summit League. Um, you know, we've had a few days to be excited, but um, I think that I have enough confidence in this team and that we can, we can, uh, we don't have one more game left in our season. So, you know, it's time to, for me, I guess I'm ready to focus in on the, on the task at hand and get ready to go to work. Um, I mean, it'll be, it'll be nice to uh, have a bunch of my family there, but, you know, I mean, I would have the same mindset wherever we're going. Um, you know, like Taylor said, um, once we heard it, you know, the last couple of days have been been pretty exciting. But uh, once we heard that, you know, the news is kind of time to buckle down. You know, we didn't we didn't come this far just uh, you know just lay down. I guess you know we're gonna we're gonna go out there and give them our best shot. Not a whole lot to be honest with you. Um, you know, we'll we'll start watching film on them tomorrow, and we'll we'll f find out a little bit more. Um, you know, every team in this tournament is going to be good, so you know, um, you don't make it unless you've had a pretty good season. And so, um, you know, there wasn't any specific teams that we didn't want to play, um, but I think we, you know, I think we'll match up well with Oklahoma. You know, it'll be a big challenge for us, um, but like I've said all year, we're extremely confident in, in what we're capable of doing, so this will be a challenge for us, but, um, you know, this is, this is a position that we've earned to put ourselves in, so we're going to go in there. Um, Coaches will give us a great game plan and how to stop them, and then we're going to do um, the best job we can to execute that and get a win. Um, it, it it's a good feeling, but you know, at the same time, I don't, I don't know. For me, I just I'm, I I want to actually make some noise in this tournament and not just be a team that makes it there and then just gets crushed and goes home. So um, I'm I'm extremely focused um, and just really just looking forward to preparing. Work for a change. Yeah, that will be something new. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't know what to expect, um, but I mean, I, I, I got to assume it's got to be a little, little more friendly to us instead of going to their place and all the all the perks that come with that. <laughs> yeah, no, um, you know that's something we we felt like we deserved. You know, we would have been a little upset if we wouldn't have got the the 12 seed, and so um, I feel like we're it was a right place for us. And I, you know, that 5-12 matchup every year is there's always some upsets, so. And we're looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. Um, just going through practice every day throughout the few years that I've been here. Um, to have this opportunity to celebrate this uh, with my teammates, it's, it's amazing. It's wonderful. And uh, just hope that we just have a couple more weeks in us. Um, it helps us a lot. Not, not only this year, you know, um, playing Indiana last year, you know, always playing the Gophers. Um, we, we've played against these uh, bigger schools that have, you know, the bigger, stronger athletes than we're accustomed to in the Summit League. So that definitely prepares us. Um, but, you know, this just this comes down to, you know, who, who can put the best product on the floor for 40 minutes. You know, this is March, so anything can happen. And we're very excited with the opportunity. <laughs> um, yeah, that, de that just shows the, uh, you know, the Calbert team that we are. Um, um, like I keep saying, you know, we we expect to go out on the court and win every game that we are in. Um, so, you know, I don't think anybody on our team is going to have a different mindset going into this game just because um, it's a it's what they got second in the Big 12. I mean, we're we're going to go with the same mindset that um, Oklahoma's in for a, for a long 40 minutes. How these games have turned out in the past. Um, you know, just just off of you know size and athleticism, I don't think we're going to we probably won't be a favorite on too many boards, but. Um, I think that we, we can beat teams uh, in a lot of different ways, and, and we're not going to what, – whatever happens on Thursday, you know, um, Oklahoma's going to leave that game saying North Dakota's a tough team, and they played extremely hard, whether that's them with the loss or with the win. So um, we're, we're going to prepare to win this game, and um, me and my teammates are going to go out there and make it the hardest game that Oklahoma's played. No, yeah, it was a, it's an awesome feeling, something that – I'll probably never feel in my life again. And personally, I'm not the most emotional guy, but um, you know, just hearing that, that that really gets your heart racing. And I mean, it 
it really hits home and it's just just shows the the work this team's put in and um the effort we've put it put forth all year and it's it's just it's just awesome to see it pay off yeah i know exactly that's something i know none of, none of us will ever forget um you know but you know if we could win keep winning here that'd be you know something even even way more um surreal and exciting and whatever you want to call it you know that's something we'll, we'll always remember so um like Taylor said, we're going to go to work and uh, see what we can do. Um, I mean, to be honest, I, I felt like uh, we, we've had four or five days to let all this sink in. So I'm, I'm just ready to go to work. You know, I, I'm, I've, I've had my days to be excited, and I have been. It's been a very exciting moment, a memorable moment that I will always cherish. But um, you know, I'm just, I'm just ready to go to work. Felt like I was in college all over again, prepping for a final that I didn't study for. I haven't watched a lot of Oklahoma. Uh, I've seen him play on TV in passing, uh, not riveted to the TV. So I'm going to try to keep my comments as general as I can about them. And tomorrow, well, all through the night, I'll be working on figuring out what it is that uh, we have to do to beat them. I know this. Uh, they're an extremely efficient offensive and defensive team. That, uh, that mirrors us a little bit. Uh, they played in a conference that was as good as any conference in the nation this year. And they've got a coach that's probably going to be a Hall of Famer. Other than that, it should be easy. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, uh, I know, you know, Lon spent time in the NBA, and he's done a terrific job at every stop he's been at in college again you just you, you don't meet people in this profession that don't really respect Lon Kruger and his teams I mean he just does it the right way got a lot of friends in this business and got a lot of admirers in this business including myself Shh, we're trying to sneak up on people uh hey it means it's the highest seed in conference history is that right no since 07 since 07 how many times have they done it No, I, uh, I don't know. It's certainly as high as the Summit's gotten, right? I, I think. It, it's a really good seed for a Summit League team. Let's just keep it at that. How's that sound? They, they invited 12 teams to the tournament back then. Of course they were. Nine. I, it's, uh, I, we did very good for, you know, for our league. Uh, I think we got a chance to go out and show the world what we have. Again, I, I'd like to get more specific with you. I tried to go back there and Read the Cliff Notes version on Oklahoma. I I got a lot of work to do. It, it's goofy. That what I said. I said to the guys when Oklahoma came, I said, "This is this is us." So, but it's still it. Maybe I got too many scars from asking girls to high school dances and stuff. But it, 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 you're all, you're nervous. They forgot about you. <laughs> I don't know why. Is that is that sad? Uh, I don't know. Maybe a therapist would have something to say about it. I, I know this that it is a tremendous amount of pride. You know, I, I've watched that selection show every year. It's been televised since it's been on the air. It's uh, a very important part of my life. The tournament's a very important part of my life, and to be part of what I consider to be the greatest sporting event in the world, certainly the most unpredictable and most fun, uh, tremendously humbling, and I. It's terrific to share that with with this community and this state and all of our fans, alumni across the nation. Yeah, exactly. A celebration. We we won in spite of you, BSA. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm glad we're not gonna have to do another one from the BSA. I know that. I uh, my wife the other day got offended. By the way, she thought I was being too difficult on the Bison Sports Arena. Like it, I would hurt its feelings. I said uh, no. I don't, if anybody out there is offended by my treatment of the BSA verbally, A, I apologize. B, you don't work here every day. I'm not. I, I don't think our guys are. I know this. Regardless, we, we've you've accomplished one goal, move on. We made the tournament. Great. Refocus and see what you can do. I know our guys at the beginning of the year have had big plans, bigger than anything we've accomplished so far. I'll keep it at that. But uh, – we have guys that believe they can win against anybody, and that's a good place to be. Yeah, you go back and take a long, hard look at our schedule 
uh, looks pretty good right now. I knew it was pretty good going along because we were going through it. It was hard. Uh, but, yeah, there is an element of being battle-tested. And with this group, you know, the, the cumulative experience is over three, four, five years. People talk about one-and-done programs. We're a five-and-done program. That's kind of how we do it here. And uh, by the time you're at the end of that fifth year for us, you've got some pretty mature guys and, and guys that feel like they can handle anything. It was going to be so different. 09 was really unique. Uh, busing to a, an event. We got a charter flight. Huh? It's cool. Uh, police escorts, the whole works. It's kind of a fancy deal. Uh, it is a quick turnaround. I want our guys to just absorb these moments. I do. Yeah, I, they'll handle it the right way. They, they will. Uh, this group's been goofy all year, and then when you go to get focused, they, that element's always been there for them. So that's what I expect out of them this time. They, they would be doing themselves a tremendous disservice if they didn't enjoy this to its full capacity. Because there's a whole lot, of, whole lot of kids dribbling a basketball in their driveway that were the same age that never got the chance to do this by the time they were done. Yeah, yeah, that, that, you know, for this group, it's the first time we've ever played a high major on a neutral floor. That's, that makes a big difference, and it's why you see the upsets. You know what, if, if we hosted Big Ten, Big 12 teams on a regular basis at the BSA, uh, you might see a little more uh, top 20, top 50 wins uh, out of us, a few more anyway. But uh, we don't. That's the way the world works. All I know is that life on the food chain dictates the way it is, and uh, we finally get a chance to play somebody on a neutral floor. Here, here is my here. I don't. I don't know how they will. I hope it's really, really good. I know it's the Braun family. It's a pretty easy trip trip for them. So we'll have plenty of green and gold in there. But as far as our fans, I really hope they can make it. I would like to point out. It could be factually completely inaccurate, but the drive. I was told this the other day by someone that may or may not know what they're talking about. The drive from Fargo to Spokane is the same as the drive from Fargo to Frisco. There you go. Did you ever hear that? No, I did not. Somebody told me, and I, I take it for fact because I'm a very trusting soul. Uh, there's a few more mountains in the way. It's, not as, it's more scenic, right? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I hope people can scramble around and get there. I know this. If they're not there, they'll be watching. Um, I really just want people to enjoy this. I do. I, have, uh, I can take care of the people in our locker room enjoying it. You're all on your own. But do it. Don't let it slide by. Are they? I, I have not seen a full bracket yet. Uh, I was whisked away into a media tornado as soon as it was done. And uh, No, I, I haven't seen the other brackets. That's really cool if that's the case. That's awesome. And uh, those are two guys that mean a lot to me. I know in the pod system, just because you're in the same bracket doesn't mean you're in the same city. Uh, I have no idea where they're at. It would be nice if I had at least one friend out there with me. But... Yeah. How about a – can you imagine the press conference for a Phillips-Miles game? I mean, that thing is – that is – that's as big as it gets. We would do it jointly. The NCAA would try to stop us. Uh, yeah. He won the press conference war this year. He had a quote that I won't repeat in here that I, I just said, I'm done. You won this year. I'll see you next year. I got to regroup. Well, it's it's neat. I'd like to – point out that our original staff at Wisconsin, uh, Tony Bennett at Virginia, who's, did they get a two-seat or a one-seat or something? They got a high seat anyway. They got a one? Good for Tony. Uh, Rob Jeter at UW-Milwaukee, myself. Uh, Duffy Conroy, our video guy, is at UW-Milwaukee with Rob and Greg Gard, the other assistant. All of us are in the tournament. And why is that? Uh, well, I don't think I came out of the womb blessed innately with basketball knowledge, I learned from somebody, and I learned from a pretty good one. He's a, a brilliant, brilliant basketball mind, and I think it's only fitting. His, his father, Butch Ryan, was like a crazy uncle to all of us. Uh, he passed away earlier this year, and I can't help but think somehow Butch is up there orchestrating this all so that all Bo's guys uh, get in. It's pretty special, but I think the good common – theme is we all learn basketball from a guy that teaches it as well as anybody teaches it, period. Uh, 
the only mistake he ever made. Why he recruited me, I have no idea ever. But it wasn't much of a recruiting process. So I kind of just. All right. It takes an absolute weakness of the program and makes it a strength. And I've been I'm pretty good at selling it. I've been selling it for the last nine years. Uh, but to have that shovel in ground as soon as it's it's going to make a world of difference. If if we're gonna we're gonna play big boy basketball here at North Dakota State, we gotta we gotta have more than we have. And I don't think anybody ever argued that. I don't think I've never met anybody who said, you know what, you guys can live with the BSA. No, nobody's ever said that to me. Um, to get that money privately raised, uh, to have the help of people like Sanford, uh, people like Shields, people like Pioneer. Uh, Nodak, Mutual, it's, it, it, they just absolutely have all given us a chance to take this thing. Now, where do we take it? Now, you know, how do you cash in on it? It doesn't wave a magic wand and we get everybody now, but I think that you're going to start seeing kids maybe pay a little more attention to what we're doing. And I think this tournament helps, too. I know I know this tournament helps. Helped last time. A guy like Taylor Braun's not here if we don't make the tournament before. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh and you know what? It isn't a matter of respect. Never respect. That's what we earned. I mean, I, I did the math every way imaginable, and I saw zero, zero, zero chance we weren't going to be a 12 seed. Literally, you look at teams below us, you got Delaware. We can't be seated below Delaware. Our record's better, our eyes better, and we beat them. You know, you, you look at Stephen F. Austin, strength of schedule. Once they were at the 12, I was like, yep, we're the, we're the next one. We're getting it.